I can't explain it over the phone. You'll see it when you get here. Come to Serpent Creek, please. You're my only hope. Dealing with the supernatural is always a challenge. But the most challenging case I ever received came from my longtime friend, Helen Hunter. She had gone with her assistant to Serpent Creek to report on the local festival. Stammering and sobbing, she asked for my help. It sounded serious enough. Before the call broke off, she said she had uncovered a horrible secret. I should find a room and begin my search first thing tomorrow morning. What is that thing? Whoa! <sighs> that was close. I need to get out of the car. Who are you? <laughs> a giant reptile creature. Have you been drinking? Oh, I'm sorry. That was rude. Thank you for your help. I I'll explain later. Please, come in. Guest book's full, and it wouldn't interest you anyway. Sorry about before, forgot to take my meds is all. What brings you to Serpent Creek anyway? You're looking for someone. Helen Hunter. Nope, it doesn't ring a bell. Sorry. Let me fix you up with a room. It's the least I can do, right? Here, keys to room eight. What is that?
What is this suitcase doing here? I must ask you to leave the room, now. It hasn't been serviced yet. Here, take this card and go for a walk or something. Take a tour around town. Don't come back until I'm finished with the room. Another tremor, this one even stronger than the last. So that's what the tremors were all about. Good evening. My name is Alistair Bramnus, mayor of Serpent Creek, at your service. As you are aware that we just experienced a minor underground tremor, nothing of concern really. Unfortunately, I am not able to reach Sheriff Wilson and inform him about the damages. Your friend went missing here. This is unexpected. Sheriff Wilson will be more than happy to help you. His office is down the street, across the town square. Now we need to find a way to reach the town square if we are to locate your missing friend. We need to get to town. Any ideas on how to get across the rift in the ground? What the devil is wrong with you? We need to get to town. Any ideas on how to get across the rift in the ground? Is that... blood? Hey, what the...? What on earth happened here?
Let's see what the evidence says. The perpetrator stands in the corner, occupied with something. <gasps> Suddenly, he feels a pair of eyes at his back. The perpetrator rushes at the intruder. Ah! Adrenaline takes over and he kills the intruder with a hammer. He then puts on gloves and drags the victim's body across the garage. The killer loses his balance and leans on the locker door. He pushes the door hard, leaving a dent. Then, the killer puts away the gloves, wipes away the evidence, and puts the ammonia bottle back on the shelf. He wipes down the murder tool, finishes his cigarette, and walks away. That means I scared off someone else, and the victim's body must be in the locker. And I recognize the victim. It's Joe, Helen's co-worker. These are Joe's keys. Let's see what's in that van outside the hotel. This van belongs to Helen's magazine. She has to be somewhere in town. done. You seem to be full of surprises. But this is true, and I must make some arrangements. What is she doing? She doesn't look well. Yo mumbo jumbo.
Shalem, are you there? We have an emergency. I can hear you snoring. Please, open the door. Open up, you drunkard. And fix your blasted doorbell. This is not good. Sheriff Wilson is... He cannot hear me knocking. What's worse? I need to contact the state police. Please, try to reach Sheriff Wilson on my behalf. I would be more than obliged. Now, if you'll excuse me... it weren't for you, you must forgive me for not being able to repay you. Nevertheless, I still have to alarm the police about the dead body. You will do me a great favor if you try to contact the sheriff. After all, he is the authority in Serpent Creek. Why can't you people just go to sleep like everyone else? A dead body in the garage? That's impossible. This is a small community, stranger. Things like that don't happen here. Ever. But if you're telling me it's still there, and the mayor crashed his car, is he okay? Earthquake? Well, we do experience some minor tremors once in a decade. It's nothing to be concerned about. All right, I'm going to the garage to see if your story checks out. Guess I need to do something about that rift, too. Wait for me inside my office. I may need to ask you some questions later. Don't mind the snake. He won't mind you. <laughs> The sheriff wasn't joking. I'm not real fond of snakes.
This should get its attention. Wow, look at it go! Helen? Ah! Get out of my head. Get out of my head. He is using the artifact. The eye. All of them. Every one. They can't hear. Can't speak. What are they digging for? I need my amulet. I need it. He took it from my neck. Does the sheriff know? His desk is so messy. Joe was right. I should never have stayed in that hotel. Sorry about before. You surprised me is all. You're welcome to use your room now. What do you mean I lied about Helen? Who are you really? I'm calling the sheriff. All right, all right, no need to get violent. Listen, I'm not the bad guy here. Your friend, she came to town a week ago. Uh, booked a room. She and another guy were writing some article or something. Yeah, day before yesterday, Wilson brought her in on a burglary charge. That's all I know, alright? Your room is ready. Now leave me alone. As I said, your room... Hello there. You must be my new neighbor. The name's Owen Duffer. How do you like the place? Strange, isn't it? The mayor says... We've no need to fear the local reptiles. But who knows, right? My shirt? Oops, looks like I must have caught it on something. <laughs> In jail? Well, ain't she a troublemaker? Off I go then. What on earth happened here? opens the balcony window and steps inside. 
He trips over the long curtains, pulling them down. He gets up and leans on the wall, leaving a handprint. He looks under the lampshade, behind the mirror, under the covers, and above the wardrobe. He tries to pull something out from under the wardrobe. There's a sound. Someone is coming. He trips over the chair. He knocks over the vase and gets away the same way he got in. I should try and get that photo from under the wardrobe. That must be the amulet Helen told me about. Dear Guardian, I may have one similar to it. I can cut you a good deal. Let's say, 50 bucks? It's a steal, I tell you. Not literally. Mind your words. I bought it from Black, fair and square. Who are you calling thief? I don't like your tone of voice. Now scrap before Brebo rips your pretty eyes out, along with your liver. <laughs> This van belongs to Helen's magazine. She has to be somewhere in town. on you.
I remember this. My guardian amulet. It's you, my dear friend. It's really you. Listen, there's something wrong with the people of Serpent Creek. There's a machine in... in the basement. It makes this buzzing noise. Drives them mad. There's a... a tall building. But he knows everything. He's seen me. Joe and I got a warning from a... Behind you! <laughs> How... how did I get here? My head hurts. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> I told you not to leave my office, but you didn't want to listen to the sheriff. Now, where's that woman? Did she lock you up in here? Damn it! I don't know what's going on in here, but if she's your friend, you should be more careful around her. She was locked up in here for a reason, you know. Sheriff Wilson rang me about your little... accident. Your friend sounds very troubled indeed. I apologize if the Sheriff was a little... harsh with you. I'd like to thank you once again for saving my life. Here, I'm afraid this is the best I can do at the moment. Enjoy the last day of the festival. Wait, is there someone inside? I think I'd meet you here. You got a ticket from the mayor. Me too, it's um... I know I've got it somewhere. <laughs> anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Cheers. Wait, did you do something to the main door? There has to be something wrong with the mechanism again. Listen, I... I gotta get out of here. I'm not good with enclosed spaces, especially ones with snakes everywhere. I'm... I'm gonna go upstairs and look for a way out. If you manage to find one, give me a shout.
Thousands of years ago, the snake god Gukamats reigned over the world. The people of Earth would seek him for counsel and protection, and he would save them from pain and fear. Gukamats was kind and caring. He loved all of his children. His brother, the shape-shifting god Season, was jealous of him. He wanted to be beloved as well. Season murdered Gukamats and took Gukamats's shape to reign over the humans. But he could not aid them the way his brother could. Gukamatsu's murdered body shed three tears before shattering into a thousand pieces. Those three tears are the three seeds of life. It's getting away! I need to catch it! Got you. Now give it back.
office jammed. I also saw someone outside. I don't like this. Let's get out of here. Nicely done. You need to know something. I'm on an undercover mission. People started disappearing in London. Most of them were smugglers dealing in everything illegal. My employers discovered that there's a mysterious substance being shipped from Britain to the US. The shipment I was tracking ended up here in Serpent Creek. That's all I can tell you. Did you notice the light coming out from the lighthouse? There has to be an underground passage. I'll try to follow our mystery man. Stay vigilant. It's Helen. Hold on, Helen. I'm coming. The town looks pretty nice from up here. Wait a minute. Was that a... It's the thing from before! It's hiding in the library. I should check it out. Someone lock the door from the inside. There's something outside. It's watching me.
What on earth happened here? Let's see what the evidence says. The person dims the light bulbs. Odd. He's going through some geological maps, eating whatever's inside that jar. When he hears someone entering the lounge, me. He throws his cane on the shelf. Takes off his clothes. And climbs the bookshelves? How is it possible for him to fit in there? He rips out the vent cover and... disappears in the vent? This is nuts. I need to check the vent. Alright, this should be it, till the end of the year. Do I care what Branimus is doing with the owners of this stuff? Nope. Better them than me. Couple of hundred more and I'm out of this forsaken place. <gasps> what? Hey, what are you doing here? You're that reporter. I'm not letting you spoil this for me. Not after what I've been through. What is that thing?
Look who's crashed the wedding. Give me one reason why I shouldn't turn you in for burglary. Let me get this straight. A creature breaks into the library to read some books. Right. Keep out of the library before I lose my patience and send you to an asylum. Now get out! Did you find anything? What? The hotel manager killed Joe? That reporter? No way. The cemetery? I think it's somewhere west from off the town square. I'd go with you, but someone needs to keep an eye on our sheriff, right? If you're gonna spy on Black, you're gonna need this. Hello again. I am looking for Mr. Black. Ah, it appears he is elsewhere. If by some chance you run into him, please tell him I need to speak with him. Thank you.
Hello? Is anyone there? Listen, I want out. I don't know and I don't care what you're looking for in that old gold mine. Killing the mayor, putting the whole town under hypnosis, abducting tourists, holding up that reporter. This is too much. I'm done. Unlike you, I'm not a killer. Joe's death was an accident and it's all your fault. I'll give you five grand if you'll just let me and the reporter go. Wait, what are you doing? No! You have failed me for the last no! time. <gasps> oh my! I think I've scared it away. My head is spinning. Hello, little bird. <laughs> I should put a bullet in your head and feed your body to the reptiles. Eh, no one would notice anyway. The only reason you're still alive, stranger, is that he's got plans for you. And your blonde friend. Enjoy your stay. I saw Wilson drag you in here. Turns out, Black worked for the mayor as his Dorman. Here, take this. Hope you manage to find a way out. And I mean out of this town and far away from here. Was a pleasure.
It's getting kind of messy, wouldn't you agree? With Black Dead and the girl... It doesn't matter. I finally got what I came here for. Yeah, after three years of using the town for your dig in the old mines. Careful now, Sheriff. Or else what? You'll put me under the spell of your precious artifact? Is that it? I'm the one who keeps that machine running. I'm the one who's running this show. And I'm the one who will reward you. Really? Does that mean you can... Patience, Sheriff. I will deal with you soon enough. Now, make sure no one tampers with the device. These are Owen's files. The sheriff recommended killing him. What did he mean by pets? side. What on earth happened here?
Let's see what the evidence says. Owen rushes in through the balcony door. He tries to barricade the door with a chair. A huge snake breaks in through the window. Owen fires at him. Owen manages to shake the snake off with a bat. He gets closer so he can finish off the beast. The reptile jumps Owen and pushes him off his feet. Owen shakes the creature off and throws it into the wardrobe. He's out of ammo. He reaches for his gun holster on the armchair, but the beast gets out before he can load the gun. The snake wraps itself around Owen and bites him fiercely. Owen shoots in panic. He fights the snake off for the third time, throws it into the wardrobe, and ties the belt around the door. Now I know how he got injured so badly. Let's see what's in that wardrobe. This is bullocks. Listen, you need to stop this madness. Here is the key to the lighthouse I snatched when Wilson wasn't looking. You'll figure it out. Stop those evil bastards. Don't worry, I'll be alright. I just need to 
lay down here for a while. Go to the lighthouse. Stop them. This nearly destroyed by one person. You. It's high time for you to disappear, little pest. And your friend. I need to stop him. Ah! This is not over. Not by a long shot. Stop! Phew. That was close, sneaky bastard. Reminis, stop! You're not gonna get away with this!
Ethan, you're alive! You! So, my beloved twin snakes failed to stop you. No matter, I've already won. The seed of life is in my possession. My god's resurrection is at hand. Sizzin will reclaim the earth and kill your kind. But first, I shall feed on your flesh. You see, it's been a while since my last meal. The two of you will do just fine. It's now or never. No! What are you doing? The seed! I cannot allow it to hatch yet! This is just the beginning. I'm so glad to see you. This will make one heck of an article. The town seems to be back to normal again. Or at least almost normal. And the sheriff is going away for a long time. I'm just sorry about Joe and Black, I guess. They are still searching for the mayor's body. I hope he's gone for good. I guess we'll just have to wait and see.